Hey, hey, God bless you. Sammy D here. I'm sitting at my home, not in my car. But I uh, just want to greet you. Bless the name of the Lord. And of course, I want to read a scripture to give to you. I'm just studying a few scriptures here in my Bible. And so I came across this one here. And it's very important that we understand this. And so I want to share it with you. This is in the book of Romans, chapter 8, verse 34. Romans 8. 34. I want you to listen to this closely. 8.34. Who is he who condemns? Question mark. Is it Christ who died? Question. The answer. Yes. Who is risen? who is also at the right hand of God, who also intercedes for us. In other words, Jesus died, rose from the dead, and he's making intersection for us. Intercessory prayer. He's interceding for the church, for his bride, for the believer, for you and I. Now, modern technology has developed this system of blocking or deleting. I'm gonna put I'm gonna put it close together. I'm gonna show you something. If you wanna block someone on social media, say I'm Facebook, I wanna block this person. Boop, you press a button and you block them. If you want to delete a message, hopefully not mine, but if you want to delete a video, a message, a posting, you press delete and it goes away. If you want to delete someone from your phone numbers, from your contacts, you press delete and it disappears. You can also block someone from reaching you. This is something that we've had for the last maybe 20, 25 years, give and take a little. But this has been going on from the very beginning of time. Yes. God was the first one who developed or created the system of blocking and interceding. In sports, you can do the same thing. In basketball, you dribble down the court, you shoot, and the opponent's side... Phew, they block the ball. Bam! Doesn't go in. Football. You throw the football, the quarterback, and somebody comes and intercedes the other players. And they take the ball and they run down to their goal. Interceding and blocking, deleting, has been going on for a long time. And let me tell you how. First of all, God has been deleting and God has been blocking the devil's plan to stop you from doing what God wants you to do. Let me say that again. God has been blocking the devil's plan to destroy you and me and to stop us from reaching God's goal. I just read to you. Romans chapter 8, verse 34, it says that God makes intercession. So God has blocked the devil from getting to us. He can't touch us. He's been blocked. Just like you block someone on social media, they can't contact you. You block them. The devil's motive operandi is M O is to destroy God's people. But God has blocked them. He got in the way. He got in the devil's face and blocked them and said, Poop, you can't come through here. You can't touch Samuel Dueño. You can't touch Brenda. You can't touch Los Pastores Peña, Maritza. You can't touch Cheryl. You cannot touch them because I'm blocking you. So God developed the system of blocking way before we got it. 
and he's blocked the devil. The devil wished to get in, boom, but he's been blocked. He's blocked the devil, the demons, hell, the plan of the devil to destroy you and I. That's what I just read to you in Romans chapter 8. It says that he's making intercession. He died and rose from the dead to make intercession. Another good scripture is found in 1 John 2, verse 1. Chapter 2, verse 1. It says that Jesus is our advocate. The word advocate means that he's our lawyer. Listen to this definition of advocate. Advocate a person publicly supporting or recommending a particular cause or policy. In other words, an advocate supports you. You want to do something for God. You want to do something for your family. You want to have a plan to save money, to buy a car. The devil will try to stop you from doing that. But Jesus is your advocate. And more importantly than substance or material things, we have sinned against God and the devil has accused us and he brings accusation. He's the accuser of the brethren, the Bible says. But we have an advocate. We have a lawyer that has went before us and he has blocked them. And now he makes intercession and now he represents us before God. And he said, I know Sammy D has done some things. Yo sé que Samuel Dueño ha hecho algunas cosas, muchas cosas, cosas que ustedes saben y cosas que ustedes no saben. Pero el, el abogado mío, ¡pam! me representa ante la presencia de Dios. My lawyer, my advocate, represents me. He goes before the judge. God, and he shows his hands uh, with the nail prints uh, through his hands. Uh, and he says, I died for Sammy D. Mm -mm -mm. And he believes in me. And he's accepted me. And he's repented. And he forsook his sin. And he seeks my face. And he calls on my name. And he worships me. And he exalts me. And when he shows his hands and they look at me, sit in the courthouse, knowing that I have an advocate, a lawyer that represents me, the judge says, Bing, bang, boom, caso cerrado. He closes and drops all the charges, and I'm free because of the resurrection of Jesus that makes intercession, and that is my lawyer. Come on, shout praise the Lord, somebody. Hey, don't you love it? Don't you like that, beloved? That he's your lawyer. Let me tell you a secret. Hello, is anybody here? No, I'm alone, I'm alone. Mira, this lawyer doesn't charge you any fees. Este abogado no te cobra. No, no, no te cobra nada. Es más, él pagó el precio. Not only doesn't he charge you, but he paid the price. You can't afford a lawyer to represent you before God to make intercession for you. The lawyer you have paid already. It pago. Todo está pago. He paid. Everything has been paid. Everything has been canceled. All the charges that have been dropped because your lawyer, the advocate Jesus, and that's found in scripture, let me tell you. You can find that all through the New Testament. Pauline, epistles, el apóstol Pablo habla de eso intercessory and the fact that he's an advocate hebrews chapter 7 verse 25 jesus always lives to intercede for us el vive para representarnos para interceder los casos cerrados y el bloqueó la palabra si no esa es la que estamos usando hoy bloqueó al diablo bloquealo tu bloqueado a alguien en facebook como dicen los americanos, Facebook. Si tú bloqueas a alguien, Dios bloqueó al diablo que te quería atacar y destruir y a mí, y él lo bloqueó. Le dijo, espérate, no puede entrar por aquí. Blocked him. He blocked the devil. And then he deletes. If you have committed some sin and you've repented and you forsook it, you know what God does? Beep. He presses delete. 
It's not there anymore. God doesn't remember it. Other people remember it and they come to you and say, ah, yo sé lo que tú hiciste, mira. Tú eres Sammy Dueño. Yo sé lo que tú eras. Pero el, el Señor, beep, delete. Se me acuse. Está bien. Tú ganaste. Es verdad. Pero beep, the Lord deleted it. Eso quedó bajo la sangre. Yo sé lo que yo hice, pero también sé lo que Cristo hizo. Pip, he deleted it. Tú no oyes eso. Pip, pip. 